Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the <laughs> Influencers UK. The gym we're trying today is Sharish Blue Magic Gin. <laughs> you had problems saying that, didn't I you? I did a little bit. This gin comes all the way from sunny Portugal, Ooh. made by Antonio Cuco. We've said him before. We have. We have We have actually reviewed another one of their gins called the Orange Blossom. Check out that review. It's re actually really good. It's one of my favorites. Mm. This beautiful blue looking gin gets its color from the pea blossom. Um, the thing about the pea blossom is, if you've seen our videos before, is that it's a color changing gin. So what else is in there? It's juniper, of course, coriander, angelica root, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, I'll say I was careful there, lemon peel, strawberry, and raspberry. <laughs> you, have to, you have to think about cinnamon. It comes in a 50 centiliter bottle, it's beautiful there, 40% ABV for around 35 pounds. They've been making a color changing gin and tonic, which is amazing, with premium tonic water and garnishing with a slice of red apple. As always, we're trying it neat first. Indeed. We have a little thing to discuss with oh, you. Oh, yes. Though. Right, so. Very important. This is it. It's blue. Look at that. Look, against me, it's blue. It's amazing. Mm. We have one here. Um, oh, not that one. It's actually not that one, it's that one. Right, so this is another one, which is pale blue. We've had this for a while and it lost its color because it it was kind of kept in not kind of direct sunlight. It was, well, it was in direct it's sunlight. It's been kept in this room, which doesn't have direct sunlight. We keep we keep everything closed yeah. in here. But we've, so, had it for, we've had it for ages. And the issue is with, with, with the pea flower is that the color does start to go. So if you buy this gin, you need to drink it kind of quickly because otherwise, it goes because it is a natural color and it starts it starts to fade so we're not going to use this one that one goes away right so, we so we've had to buy a new one so we had to buy a new one but we'll be drinking that one straight afterwards anyway um if we like it um so let's open it but i think it's important when you've got those color changing ones and they're in a, they're in a clear kind of bottle you might not have that color changing thing for long because they will just they will kind of lose their color Oh. <laughs> that was an insipid. Let, let's have a look. You let's said, have... I'm sure you said that on the last video yeah. with him. Oh, is it? Uh, it's a yeah. bit of... Don't Ooh. worry about it. Don't care. Oh, now that smell. I've given you a big chunk there. It's fine. Good. That's oh, fine. wow. Okay. It's quite fruity. In fact, there is something in there that is lovely. It's a fruit that is fruity. jumping out. It's fruity. It's kind of. Herby, oh. it's citrusy. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that smell anyway. Yeah, that's lovely. Oh. <laughs> Maybe color change on that. Uh, there we go. He spat it all over his top. That was I'm very sorry. Of big measure than normal. Um, wow. Oh that's, wow. That's lovely. Is it, is it noticeable? I don't care. I actually don't care. At this point, if I, we if I we were care. professionals, we'd retake that. We would, but we don't because we only have a couple of cuts. One is for the kind of uh, the Hollywood montage, as we say, and that's it. You you get you you get us as you find us. There you go. Um, wow, there's berries in there. Yeah, there's fruit. It's there's, very berry. Yeah, very berry. Merry berry. Mary, Mary, Mary berry. Mary berry. No, they haven't got that poor old lady in there that does the cooking. Um, bacon. Yeah, I quite like that. That's actually quite nice. So it's very different. It's a very different type of taste mm. to what you'd imagine a gin to be. Yeah. It's there is there is an element of juniper in there, not hugely yeah. junipery, but it's more it's more not fruity, it's, it's more almost, berry. -y. It's almost bubblegummy. Oh. It's like tutti fruity. Tutti fruity. Tutti fruity. Um Are you getting tutti fruity? You could be right. Yeah, you could be right, actually, it's tutti fruity. It's actually really a weirdly pleasant flavour. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's quite nice. Right, let's see It's very see. hot. Do you think it's hot? Yeah, I think it's quite I don't hot, think it's but hot. it's very nice. Um, I don't think it's hot um, at all, but I'm getting a lot of kind of fruit coming from there, and it's actually really, really lovely. I would like to see this in a martini, but the problem is, in a martini, you won't see it change colour. That's the problem, and that's what it's for. But, no. I don't care. It's about the taste. So I don't care if it doesn't change colour. I want it in a martini. Well, but let's try in a GT first. Let's do that. So, 
Cheers. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers. And if you have a look against there, it's pink. So it's gone from a, like a purpley blue to pink. There you go. And again, cheers. Oh yeah. That's still bubblegummy. Yeah, but it's actually really pleasant. Yeah, but it's it's I like quite sweet. Gum. It's quite sweet as well. It's, it's very sweet. Yeah, it is. It's quite bubblegummy, but nice bubblegummy. There's there's a nice amount of spice in there, not too overpowering. Yeah. Yeah, the smell was lovely. Yeah. Mm. It's it's really weird. You can't pick out. For, in, in my opinion, you can't pick out an actual over flavor all the flavors combine to give this kind of sweet kind of bubblegummy almost bubblicious flavor which is actually not sickly not it's not overpowering you go oh it tastes like chewing gum and stuff but it's kind of really really light and kind of, it, it's but i'm getting a, there's a freshness in there that comes through as well really so it, there is a it's a hint of bubblegum right but you know we're mistaking it as bubblegum um it's a fruitiness but there's a real freshness that jumps through every now and then. Oh, right, smell it. Does yeah. it not smell like virgin olive oil? <laughs> Did you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. It has a... It yeah, has a do you smell. know what? It has a smell of right. virgin olive oil, which is really odd, but not disgusting. It's actually really, really lovely. That is really weird that you yeah. said that. It, yes, it, it, it does. It smells like olive oil. Um, because you can smell that at home. Mm. Um, scratch and sniff. There you go. Um, yeah, if you just scratch your screen now, you'll be able to smell it because that's the wonder of uh, TV. Yeah. And, uh, 4K. Yeah, 4K. 5G. Yeah. 5, 5G. Yeah. That's what caused COVID, you know, apparently. Um, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't let, sorry, we're not going down that route anyway with tin hats on and stuff. Um, the foil hats. I don't know. What do they wear? I don't know. Anywho, anyway. anywho, back to the gin. Mm. It's actually quite nice. It's nicely well balanced. There's nothing. There's nothing overpowering each other on each mouthful. It's fruity. It's very fruity. Yeah. It's not quite nice. It's actually beautiful. I think it's lovely. I think that's really nice. I definitely prefer that to the orange blossom one. Oh, the orange blossom one, I loved. I absolutely loved. And that's one of your favourites, yeah, indeed. Yeah, that actually, oh, yeah, we've gone through so many bottles of that, which is really annoying because people come around and go, oh, I want to try that one. I, I hate them doing it because it's one of my favourites. That one tasted like aromatic tonic was in it, but I never use a light one in there. Um, and it's beautiful. This one equally is so full of flavour. Mm. I don't know how he does it. It is it is packed with flavour. I it think really he's a is. wizard. I think he went to Hogwarts. What is going on with you? <laughs> right. Come on, tell us. You went to Hogwarts, didn't you? You're a wizard. There is there is no way you can get all these flavours into that bottle and it colour changes and you did it with the other one. <laughs> do you know Hermione? Do you know? Do you, do you know her? No, this this is this is lovely. I'm loving it. What? I'm, I, I, no, stop. Stop. Right, yes. It's, you can it's, tell he was in Slivering. Um, so. That would be the one I'd be in. It really would be. Yeah. Definitely. You you would be Hagrid, but you haven't got the height. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, it's full of it's sorry. So I'm I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna distract you now. He makes he actually makes me crouch down during the videos because this is my normal height, <laughs> right so i, I have to do this hello and, and anyway, back to this. anyway back in, to this in summary in summary before we score it it's actually very good it's very mm. fruity i really do like the fruitiness of it i'm getting dryness i get a nice dryness of this this very actually fruity. ticks a couple of boxes for me it's quite couple. nice yeah right so i love this i, I love the gimmick of color changing I equally this. love this one right really really love this which is the orange blossom um really like that the upsetting thing for me is, well not so upsetting because I don't I don't mind the colour changing. The colour changing is brilliant and I love those kind of gimmicks and stuff because it, you have people round and it does. We'll be drinking this one and, and going on the taste of this, the colour change isn't gonna change actually change the flavour. So we're gonna be drinking this and we'll probably drink this tonight. But um, yeah, I'm really liking this. In one go. Yeah. yeah. Well, not in one go because we have to right. drink responsibly now. You know. Okay, let me go. There we go. Hold on, let me just try. 
Yeah, but like I'm saying, did I give my score away then? I don't know if I did. Right, let me go through. I might have to change it now because I think I lifted my, my card up too much. Um, wow. But yeah, the, like I say, if you get a bottle, drink it straight away because if you if you leave it, the colour will start to diminish. Yeah, but this has been a change. while. It has been a while. I mean, we're talking probably a year. A year, yeah. But Anywho. it takes that long to get round to all the gins that we have. Right, anyway, right, go. All right, okay, yep, yep. Well, I get to keep, ah, both bottles. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a nine for me. Um, yeah, it's good. It's it's a good it's gin. It's good, it's not good, it's lovely. It's bubblegummy, it's fruity, it's summery. I like it. Yeah. I really like it. I like it. the gimmick, right? I love the packaging. Packaging's great. The whole range is brilliant. Definitely we'd have them. Um, you say gimmick though, but that, that butterfly pea blossom adds a kind of slightly herbal element to gins. So it, it kind of takes it down. So maybe without that, it wouldn't, it would be too overpowering okay, sweet. Okay, maybe gimmick wasn't the correct word. It wasn't the correct word, because he's wrong. Um, but yeah, um, what I say is right, and yeah, it's it's really lovely. I'm really loving it. What? Well, I'm always right, there you go. Thank right. you. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that. Drop a comment, tell me if it's a gimmick or it's real. <laughs> Just ignore him. Uh, but anyway, drop a comment, and uh, we've got plenty more to choose from in the range there that we need to get through, so we'll, we'll do those for you as Actually, well. Actually, that's a, that's a very valid point. Which one should we try? Next. Right, so these are the ones we've got. We've got so we've got this one here, which is Sharish Gin, so it's Dark Sky. Then we've got Sharish Gin, which is um, the Pera Roca. I can't even pronounce it. We've got the. <laughs> Sorry, you can tell we use Google before. And then that. Uh, Sharish Gin. I think that's their basic gin. That's their kind of ordinary one. I think this is Pear or something. And then this is the Dark Sky. Anyway, so yeah. That's so, the one that interests me. Yeah, so so, that's so let us know which one you want. Anyway, um, yeah, so um, if you want to drop us a message about drinking Dark Sky, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, drop us a message. And we'll see you in the next video. Dark Sky. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>